can we'll fill the time. And okay. we're live! Hey. hey! All right, hello, <laughs> welcome. My name is Shelton. I'm Parisa Shelton. I'm Christine Castillo. And welcome to the to uh, the San Francisco Bay Wildlife Society's sponsored class and the dogs in the background. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so welcome so much. If you haven't joined us before, uh, we're so blessed to be able to bring you Tai Chi and Qigong, and especially on such a beautiful day like today. Now, the normal class is held at the Don Edwards San Francisco Bay Wildlife National Wildlife Refuge um, in partnership with the Refuge Friends Group. San Francisco Bay Wildlife Society under the Watershed Watchers Program. Thank you for joining us live. If you're watching the recording, enjoy. Did I say that right? You yes. sure did. There's one more announcement that I'm going to make, and that is a week from today, May 9th, is World Migratory Bird Day. Cock cock! Back! Cock! <laughs> It will be celebrating the spring migration of the birds all around the world. Nice. At Don Edwards, where this class is usually held under different circumstances, Don Edwards, San Francisco Bay Wildlife National Refuge, National Wildlife Refuge, that 10 times fast. Backwards. <laughs> Backwards. Doing a headstand. Exactly. At the Wildlife Refuge, there's over 280 species of birds wow. right now stopping in. They're cruising from the north to the south. Cruising. To eat, rest, On a Sunday nest. Afternoon. Soon there will be baby ducklings, Ooh, baby. Cute. Is it goslings or gooselings? Gooselings. Goslings. 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 With their mother and mother. cruising throughout the marsh. It's so cute. That's cute. Mother or mothers? Mothers. All mother. the different kinds of bird moms. That's really cool. So Which is actually good timing because the next day, guess what it is? What is it? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. So this For is a celebration mothers. to all the moms and everyone who has a mom and really to connecting with nature and the family unit. And I thought that a good topic for today's class is the idea of launching and migration mm. and traveling through this world. So with that said, Chris, we'll get us started off and we'll start moving and shake and bake. Yes, uh, World Migration, World Bird Migration Day. That's fantastic. Is that where the group Flock of Seagulls got their name? I don't know. Oh, wait. Is that a band? Uh, yes. Oh, my God. Back in the day. <laughs> How old aren't you? Okay. So uh, on that note, we're going to go ahead and center ourselves and get started. So once again, thank you so much. We're so grateful to the... San Francisco Bay Wildlife Society for allowing this to take place and grateful for um, our friends that are helping us in a, and wifey and teacher, she's one of our Qigong teachers, Christine is, and Patrick behind the ca camera, and our pets. Our pets are roaming around here as well too. So Hopefully anyway, come out. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna start off here with our feet out about shoulders width apart, knees are slightly bent, toes are pointing straight ahead. I'm going to gently tuck the sacrum underneath, pressing back an acupuncture point right opposite the belly button, also referred to as the gate of fire, which resides between the right and the left kidneys. So by triggering this gate of fire, it triggers the water elements of the kidneys, and so it's a proper mixture of fire and water, which produces the steam or the chi that circulates around the body. So at any point in time, if you're feeling dizzy, tired, and you want to sit down, please sit down. What's really great about these practices is that they do not discriminate against uh, uh, race, gender, uh, whether you uh, have complete mobility or you have limitation in your mobility. Believe it or not, if you're a paraplegic watching out there, welcome. And uh, you can actually do this mentally. And mentally by doing it, even if you can't move from the, from the neck down or, or you have limitations from the waist down, uh, you can actually still do it mentally. And it's, it's really just as powerful. Okay, with that said, our breath is going to be long, steady, even and deep into the lower dantian. And I'm going to be breathing into that ab abdominal region. And when I breathe, I'm going to imagine like a balloon or a ball expanding. So inhaling and exhaling. Just really allowing for myself to become centered. What, what do I hope to get out of this practice today? So seeing your intentions for what you're hoping to get. My intentions for you is that you walk away from this class feeling better than what you did when we first started 
and that I gave you simple that we gave you simple tools that, that you can take with you to handle day-to-day -day stress and past stress and also these tools my wish for you is to empower you empower you because you have the ability to really improve your own health and vitality and putting you in charge of your own health care. So from here I'm going to begin by pulling down the heavens three times, inhaling. Just connecting to nature, to your higher self, or imagine a white light flowing down through the body, through the tissues, and down deep into the ground. Inhaling. And exhale. Just allow for this white light to come in. And inhale and exhaling okay the first three practices here are called cheek clearing exercises i'm going to inhale and toss over to my right i'm going to exhale and as i inhale, now go at your own pace here you don't have to move as quickly as what we're moving and gently gazing at the tips of the fingers and allow for any tension or tightness in the shoulders and the neck to release. I don't know about you, but ourselves as well as quite a few people we know really, last week for some reason it was kind of a challenging week. A lot of things going on in different directions. Intense. So I'm shifting my weight back and forth and allowing for any excessive thoughts, feelings, or emotions to flow away like a dark cloud going several feet away from the body and deep into the ground. I cannot believe you don't know who the flock of seagulls are. You know, they sing that song. Oh, it says, no, song. Uh, and I it. run, I run so far oh, away. I, oh, yeah. I like that, that song, song actually. How do I do, Patrick? Uh -huh. <laughs> now I know who they are. Yeah. <laughs> It's like one of those groups of those, like a one-hit wonder, right? Mm. Oops, what if someone, one of them is watching? Mm -hmm. I love you. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I love no. that song. Okay, so I'm just shifting here, allowing for any tension to flow away like a dark cloud, going several feet away from the body and into the ground. Yesterday, we were at uh, a new park that is acquired, or a new preserve that is acquired by open space that hasn't been opened yet to the public and it is gorgeous out there. So hopefully you got the chance to join us yesterday afternoon at noon. That was a great class. The replay is available on Facebook and YouTube as well. Oh, okay, there we go. So check it out. You can hear the birds. It was really quite a nice day yesterday. So from here, I'm just tossing, letting go letting go of attachments. <laughs> I saw nothing. I saw what? And there then from here. Nice birds going right now. Can you hear? Mm -hmm. yes. So I'm going to come back to the middle here, slowing down. I'm going to pull down the heavens three times, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling. Just allow for that white light to come in, exhaling, flowing down deep into the ground, and inhale, and exhaling. And then from here, we're going to bring the feet a little bit closer together. We're going to begin to lightly bounce, closing our eyes, using our internal vision. We're going to begin to focus on the major joints of the body, starting with the ankles. I'm going to let go of any tension or tightness in the ankles and allow for that to flow down out through the bottom of the feet, down deep into the ground. Next, the knees, any tension or tightness in the knees, we're going to allow for that to release as well as a dark cloud flowing out through the legs, out through the feet, and down deep into the ground. If you have any sciatica pain, low back pain, just go and allow for that to release. Use it in your mind intent to release that down deep into the earth.
Then from here, the center of the spine in between the shoulder blades opposite the heart. If you have any motions affecting the heart, allow for that to release as well. Guiding out through the legs, up through the feet, and down deep into the ground. Next, the fingers, the wrists, and the hands. Shaking out all tension and tightness there. Out through the fingertips and down deep into the ground. Next, the elbows, the shoulders, the head and neck. allowing for all of this to release out through the fingers and down deep into the ground and then from here we're going to stop bouncing and if you can I want you to roll up on the balls of your feet as you inhale pulling this golden light from the earth beyond the top of the head as we roll up and drop releasing out inhaling and release and two more inhaling and release and last one inhale and drop good and then stepping out again we're going to pull down the heavens three times inhaling and this exhale just really setting that intention to stay mindful stay present with the practice inhaling just allow for that to come in and then from here my favorite practice shaking the tree so I'm going to inhale rolling all the way up the body and <sighs> exhaling all the way down just shake it off shake and bake. inhale and <sighs> and exhale and two more inhaling and <sighs> and last one inhale and exhale and then pull down the heavens three times inhale and exhaling Just allowing for any excess heat to release inhaling and exhale third pull inhale Just allow for that white light to come in saturating your tissues your soul Okay, Christine, you want to run us through some? Uh, sure. Do, Thank do, you. Do, Should we do a circle? Do, do a circle stuff? Sure. Okay. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> Hi, good morning, everybody. So now we're going to start with the heart uh, movement. We're going to place our hands like we're cradling a baby. We're going to move from right to left. And kind of just slightly pushing out as you go out. Inhale as you come in. As you do this movement, focus on any kind of uh, excitation, negative emotions of mania, instability, or chaos. Release that out and bring forth love, which is a positive emotion for the heart. Try to envision the colors red or pink. And connect with universal love, nature love, acceptance. The heart, ex the heart is a fire element, which is um, the season for the heart is during the summer. So this is a good exercise to do either in summertime or anytime you feel unstable. I was actually just reading yesterday is the beginning of May, so we're starting the transition from spring into summer. Oh, we're yes. not full yeah. summer yet, but it's... We're on that uh, yin and yang transitional period. So this is perfect, right? Yeah. Mayday, mayday. Do you copy? Red, red. Fire. <laughs> And actually, in Chris's book, he has, we have a five-element questionnaire where you can go and see what your personality typology is. Yeah, so if you know what your typology is, whether you're fire, earth, wood, water, or metal, it means that a certain organ governs you. So if you're a fire type, then that means that your heart governs you. 
And so that's me. She's yeah. Pre is a Teresa is a fire type definitely. Yeah, so are my kids. My and kids. so they, <laughs> you know, just like fire, you know, fire burns bright, then it burns out. They have to recharge. And so understanding what your typology is and what your strengths are, and it's when you deviate from your strengths as a certain typology, it starts to indicate disease. So that's that's the important thing about knowing what element typology are. And by the way, it's different than the element typology that you're born with. For example, I was born in a metal dog year. So that's different. And it also has to do with nutrition, right? So during the summer, there's certain foods you can eat. Correct. That will eliminate, that will help the heart. Definitely. Yeah, help Just balance one your more body. Exactly. And switch off by pulling, off, pulling down heavens just one time. As you come down, and we're going to switch off to the uh, earth elements. We're going to imagine like a, a ball, and we're just moving just right to left, kind of doing a little twist as you turn, and use your legs as a pump. Try to imagine the colors yellow and orange like Marisa has right now, which is really cool. <laughs> this connects me to that. Um, this is a spleen, so, which is an earth element. The shirt just popped at me this morning. Yeah, super cool. I don't have any orange shirts, so. I like that green. It just yeah. makes you, it, it's in your color. I like the logo on that green shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I did on purpose. <laughs> so, um, let's see. The spleen. The negative emotions for the spleen is overthinking, overintellectualizing. Positive virtues for the spleen is uh, peace and centeredness. I always like to add stability and groundness into it. And the season for the spleen is during the ending of summer, the beginning of fall. So this is a good exercise to do when you're feeling stressed or worried. Try to imagine the colors yellow or like orange moving to the left side of the body in this area. Release the worry. with something that's earth, like dirt, the ground, yeah. Let's do two more of these twists, and then we can switch off to the next. And pull down the heavens just one time. Inhale, exhale. The next exercise we're going to do is a lung. We're going to push out, exhale, and then inhale as you come in. This is one of my favorite exercises for the lung. Uh, the negative emotions for the lungs is grief and sorrow, sadness. So as you exhale, you want to release that emotion. Don't let it stay in the body, but just exhale that sadness. Bring forth the courage. Try to blend in with the colors of white or silver. This exercise is really great for immunity, for your immune system, immunity booster. The season for the lungs is during the autumn fall time. Try to connect with the sky, the gray clouds, nature.
the lung is a metal element, so this is a great um, element to connect with in your home, outdoors. Be sure we can find what's a good ele metal element that you connect to. That a wind way. chime. Oh, oh wind, wind chime. A metal wind chime. Oh, a gong. Gong. Oh, there's Lulu. She wants to say hi. <laughs> So That's yeah, a good one, a wind chime. Yeah, That's so if you're one. deficient in a metal element, having a wind chime outside your window. So that five element questionnaire will also tell you what element typology you're weak in, too, that you need to improve. Okay, let's do one more. Inhale and exhale. Pull down the heavens just one time. Exhale as you come down. The next exercise we're going to do is a kidney exercise, which we're going to put the left on the right kidney, thank you Chris. Uh, we're going to put our right hand over, we're going to swing out, there we go, like a giant wave of water. I was just thinking that, this yeah. is like the wave. I love, I love picturing a wave of ocean with the kidney element because it's a water element and it connects with me in the ocean. I love the ocean, being in the beach. Connect with water. The color blue. This is a good exercise to do during the winter time. Or any time you're feeling fear or shock, which is a negative emotion for the kidney. Bring in wisdom, willpower, the wisdom to and willpower to overcome major obstacles. Hmm. Just as you said that, the sun came out. Yeah, I love it. I was hoping it would get warm around. It's getting warmer. Water. What are foods that we can eat during the winter time that connect with the kidneys? Soups, congee. Soups. Yeah, congees, which is soupy rice. I would say seaweed and seafood. Seafood is good, yes. Seaweed, little packages of seaweed helps to nurture the kidneys. But you say small fish. Small oh, fish. Small fish. The best one is actually sardines. Sardines. Oh, oh sardines. Are the best, yes. But I think now maybe the tunas might be doing better. The oceans are being, being revitalized. Yeah, and the, uh, sardines are nice small fish. Good omegas. Good omegas. Good brain food. By the way, the kidney or the brain is an extension of the kidney. The, ki the kidneys? Yes. The brain. That's a good one. All right, let's do one more round and we can switch off to the hands. Put the right hand on the kidney and left hand goes out and create a giant wave. The, the kidneys also connect to the bladder and the ears. So I always, I always feel like I hear better when I do these exercises. Hmm. Um, the sound, you can just hear everything. Right. You become more aware. It's like it sharpens your senses. Yeah. yeah. So each organ has their sense. Exactly. Which I didn't mention earlier. But, mm -hmm. Yeah. So by doing this movement, if I have selective hearing, does that make that better? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> last one. <laughs> and pull down the heavens just once. Transition, let's inhale and then slowly exhale as you come down. Relax the mind. Next one's going to be the liver, which is... Uh, you're holding like a round ball and you're squeezing out, pushing on the tendons and ligaments on the hands. Um, 
stretching out the eyes, which looks a little scary sometimes, but it does enhance liver orifices. Orifices. Liver orifices. opens into the eyes. It That's opens why up you to the that. eyes, yes. the tendons, the nervous system. Oh. I don't think the migratory birds like kitten too much. Although she dreams about it. Uh, the negative emotions for the liver is anger and frustration, resentment, not accepting. Uh, the positive uh, virtues for the liver is creativity and kindness, being kind to your body, being kind to your thoughts. Kind of like the idea of do no harm, no harm to yourself, no harm to others. Right. Mm -hmm. Because you're accepting your your being, who you are, your thoughts, your your body movement, language, everything. Mm. Uh, the associated color with the liver is green, which is my color that I'm wearing today, and it also uh, it's a the season for the liver is springtime, so this is a perfect exercise to do during this time. Sounds like there's some baby birds going on right now. Migrating. You can hear them? Yeah. Comment if you can hear them on the camera. Which is my, one of my, it's my predominant element, actually. I was just going to say, I think yeah. I'm standing next to two <laughs> strong wood people right here. <laughs> Plus this tree behind us. There's a lot of wood everywhere. <laughs> I guess the wood burns my fire, so to speak. I think it balances, doesn't it? Come on, baby, doesn't light it? my fire. <laughs> Come on, baby, light my fire. Okay, let's do one more. And switch in, bring that energy back in, and pull down the heavens just one, three times. Let's do three times. Inhale, slowly exhale as you come down. Inhale. Bless you. Let's do the last one. Now's a good time if you want to take a sip of water, shake out your feet. Let's move into our SRE, silk rolling exercises. I'm looking to him for approval. And we're going to circle the head one way. Okay, so if you have any pain through the neck and shoulders and it doesn't feel comfortable to circle back, then you're just going to go shoulder to shoulder. But if you are able, then you're going to go for a big, nice circle. And you can see how Chris uses his whole body so it's not just a head isolation, but it's a circle that starts at the bach way, the very tippy top of the head. You're going to circle and then reverse it the other way. Just notice where you may be storing any tension or tightness, aches or pains, and use this gentle rotation to release the tension. You feel the flow, the migration, connecting with the earth. Then we'll bring the chin above the chest, tuck the chin, look down between the feet, and then lift and look up. We This time, let's even take our tongue out and go like you're at the doctor's office. And then tuck the chin and look down, draw the navel back, and then spinal extend, exhale, tongue out. And if I can do this on the internet, you can do this in the privacy of your home. And then exhale, look up. 
We're gonna add the arms. So you're gonna draw the elbows and the wrists together, spine stretch, and then extend, spread the fingers, look up, exhale. And look down, round the spine from the eyebrows to the tailbone to the feet, and look up, exhale. Just don't do this next to your significant other after eating lots of garlic. <laughs> or sardines. And look up. Let's do twice more rounds, but flex. Feel that wave-like undulation of the spine. And you might even feel how the tip of the tongue connects down to the tip of the pubic bone. Round. One more time. Lion's breath. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Reach up. Arms in a V. Extend through the spine. Lift up the ribs, but then drop the shoulders down. Then the mantra here is victory. Three times, either out loud or in your mind's eye, victory. Can I get a victory? Victory. And one more time, victory. Clap the hands above the head, clap. Draw a line down the center midline of the body. All the way down, just one time. Let's pull down heavens, inhale. And exhale, smile. And let's do some shoulder rolls. Shoulder roll. This is also a good one for the dance floor, but believe it or not, it is part of that silk rilling series, loosening up all the major joints of the body. Can we do a forward roll? Forward roll, forward. Especially if you've been on the computer more. I know I have been on the computer so much these past weeks. It's a digital era. Okay, now one arm. We're gonna start with one arm, circle up and back. Excuse me, Mr. Tree, Mrs. Tree. Circle up and back. I have long arms. Circle up and back. Same arm is gonna rotate forward. Front crawl, circle forward, circle forward. Let that arm relax, switch to the other side. Up, back, and down. Circle back. <sighs> Same arm, we're gonna circle forward. Circle forward. Okay, now here comes the fun part. This arm is going to stay circling forward. Then your other arm is going to circle back. Oh, yes. Connecting the left and the right sides of the brain. Yes. You feel a surge of clarity and confidence. Come back up and reverse. Takes a little bit of practice. Reverse it. Reverse and you have to smile. You're like a little kid right now. Exactly. It's like patting your belly and, or circling your belly and patting your head. Come back, relax the shoulders down, one hand, shake out the wrists and fingers. Other hand with the ring, shake out the wrists. It's kind a of a circling. Clap. It's just not a one hand clapping. We were discussing this yesterday. If the tree falls in the forest and no one is there to hear it, does it make a sound? Then both hands, don't let me forget my ring, note to self, both Wait, hands. Is this how you say clapping in silence? This mm -hmm. is also, yeah. Yes. But it's also, it's, it's a circle. It's like a- So oh, yeah, so if you're doing this correctly, if you relax your shoulders and your elbows and close your eyes, it should feel like you actually have a ball in each hand. It's like a blender. Okay, release the hands. Let's just pull down heavens one time. Inhale. That's a transition as I figure out what we're doing next. Just kidding. Okay, hands on the hips and circle one way. Hip circle. This one is like you're stirring a big pot. Feel the connection of the pelvis, which is the shape of a bowl, connecting to the spine and reverse it. Migratory bird day. I just love birds. They make me so happy. And there's so many different kinds of birds. If you think about how amazing it is that they know where to start and where to end, it's incredible. Yeah, it's like the butterfly, right? Yeah, same thing. The, okay, now lateral. We're gonna go a little lateral hip to the side. Lateral hip to the side. If you ever have a chance to make it out to Don Edwards 
National Wildlife Refuge. It is so amazingly beautiful. And reverse it. And it's hidden too. It's just kind of nestled into the nook of Alviso, a small little town that used to mine salt. Okay, now we're gonna circle back. So it's a little booty bump back. Keep the knees soft. Feel that wave from the ground up. If you like that move, you'll like this one because we're gonna go forward. Forward, you feel that ripple of the spine. Alrighty, let's step the feet together. Slide the hands just above the knee and both knees circle, keeping the spine long. Gaze is forward on the floor, neck is long. And reverse it, reverse. You can feel how the kneecap swivels between the thigh and lower leg. And what is that kneecap called? Is it patella? Patella. No. Is it? Patita patata. Step the feet out. Circle. Patella. Patella bone. Mm -hmm. I said it, but then it didn't sound right. It's a triangular bone and it's actually encapsulated in the tendon from the quadriceps. And circle out. And then the ACL is an X. The knee joint is actually very fascinating. Meniscus, MCL, ACL. Tootsie roll. Tootsie roll, hey. <laughs> tootsie it roll. is Saturday, so maybe you might have a dance party. Mm -hmm. Good, stand on up here. Start with one toe on the ground and ankle circle. Yeah, when Christine was talking about the water element, like, kind of like a wave, I was thinking of the wave. Hey! Uh, Wait, do it again? Uh, okay, like reverse the circle. doing that in sequence. Oh, <laughs> did we? I can't really see. <laughs> if you feel like a little bit more balanced, you might want to try lifting the foot up and ankle circling. Oh, that's how she feels about it. Reverse both directions. Then point the foot, flex the foot, Point, flex, spread the toes. One more time, point and flex. Root down through that foot. Switcheroo, one toe on the ground. Start here. Gives a little pivot point. And reverse. Good, root down through both feet. I have one more stretch. It's not Tai Chi, it's actually more of a yoga pose. But since we're talking about earth and birds, I thought we would try a tree pose. So we're gonna come back to the original leg you were balancing on. Start by just a toe on the floor and a an heel resting on the ankle. Hands are the, on the hip, so the hips are squared, the navel pulls back. That's the first option. Option number two, you might wanna slide your foot to the inside of the lower leg. Option three, the foot actually, it's less than ideal to put the foot onto the inside of the knee but you might want to bring the foot all the way up towards the inner thigh so wherever you are one two or three you're going to root down pull the navel back then float the arms up and imagine yourself like a tree as you root down you feel the branches growing up you feel this connection with nature the earth below the sky above the birds around Take a deep breath in and out through the nose. Smile. Hands come up overhead. Meet up overhead as you release the foot. Hello, tree. The hands come down at the same time. Draw the line down the center midline of the body. Bring the hands forward, palms forward. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. How'd it go? Pretty good. Other side? Okay, we're gonna root down. Come see, come soir. Come see, come soir. Okay, option number one. We have a toe on the floor, a heel on the inner ankle. Option number two, we float the foot up and the bottom of the foot rests on the medial lower leg, inside of the lower leg. Option three, the heel comes up towards the pubic bone. You push the foot into the thigh as the thigh pushes into the foot. Draw the navel back. Float the arms up, grow your branches. Take a few moments here, root down, 
as you lengthen upwards, <laughs> connecting with the ground below, the sky above, feeling your oneness, your wholeness, the connection with the entire universe, and then connect with every cell, every tissue in your body. As we connect with nature, we are able to uncover our true nature. The hands meet up above the head in prayer position. Hello, Mr. Tree. Then release the foot. Bring the foot down at the same time the hands come down as you draw a line down the center midline. Take a deep breath in through the nose, sigh of relief out through the mouth. <sighs> Two more times, inhale. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> okay, that's all I got. I'm switching to C. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off here with our feet out, shoulders width apart. We're going to warm up more of the legs. So we're going to work with the lower trunk uh, since we are connecting with nature and connecting with the earth. So we're going to kind of work with the legs a little bit more to start off with. And you can place your hands up on your hips here. And what's going to happen is you're going to come around and out. Ooh. Come around and out. Back this shoulders with part. This is still part of the silk reeling? This is part of, still part of the silk reeling exercises, SRE, as my Sifu Tony Wong calls it. <laughs> Shout out to C Sifu Tony. Shout out to Sifu Tony. It's been quite a while since I've seen him. But you guys still talk. We still talk by email, yes. So from here, <clears throat> Shifting my weight back and forth. Now notice that when I'm doing this, I'm not bouncing up and down. Ooh. I'm staying connected into the qua here, which is the inguinal groove. So I connect to the earth. So I'm not going up and down. Patrick, you remember this exercise? Come and you kind of go fast too. In and out. In and out. So this would also be a outside knee kick. But if you were to use this like as a martial application, then the head position is still important? Yes, yeah, because you want to keep that strong earth connection. Now, mm. though in Muay Thai, for example, they'll roll up on the balls of the feet to do this. The standing foot. Mm -hmm. the, the base leg. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So if we go outside, then guess what? We have to go inside. Inside knee. Oh, inside. inside knee. Inside knee. Ooh, I can feel that in my hips for sure. So again, really try not to bounce up and down. I see you back there, girlfriend. <laughs> I was trying and then I forgot and then he reminded me again. I got eyes in the back of my head. He really does. Christine was talking about how Qigong helps your senses, hearing and seeing. This guy could smell like you would not even believe. <laughs> I do too. I you do. A, yes. a keen sense of smell. Yeah, there's something about smell that I, I have. I don't know what it is. It's, just... it's odd. Yes. <laughs> Other people see it as, what is wrong with you? It's a gift and a curse. And a curse. Yes. Okay, so I'm circling around. I'm gonna build up a little bit of sweat here, maybe. Ooh, I feel that, yeah. Okay. Who knew we were gonna be working out this morning? And the spine stays straight. The spine, uh, yes, the spine stays straight and the tongue still stays curled to the roof of the mouth behind the teeth. Is it because you want me to stop talking? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> That's how I say this with a smile. I'm trying not to bounce my head, but it's really Try not to bounce. Let's do one more. And then we're going to pull the back. Pulling now into the third eye. Inhale. Guiding that energy down to the lower Dantian. Inhaling and exhaling. As the, what's the name? Chris Spart would say? Ralph Smart. Ralph Smart. Pulling, Ralph in some, Smart. pulling in some good prana, baby. 
Good prana. He says, breathe in that good ass prana, baby. Some good prana. <laughs> okay. From here, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to throw a kick. Now, if you have flip-flops, I would suggest taking off the flip-flops because the flip-flops may go flying. If you can't really do the kick, make sure, or if you have low back problems or balance problems, you know, hold on to a shoe, hold on to your partner. Um, and because what's going to happen here, I'm going to demonstrate first. Okay, demonstrate. I'm going to come around, do that inside knee kick, and then I'm going to kick. So it doesn't, bat, it doesn't hit the ground in between. Yes, but if you have modification, grab onto a chair, and even if you have to, just low kick. You don't have to do a high kick. Does the low. foot stay pointed when you kick or flex? It flex, okay. okay? But if you want to have more of a stretch and build the leg a little bit more and kind of challenge yourself, then go ahead and try to follow along. So now I'm going to go opposite leg, sink. Here. Here. Okay, so I'm circling in and press and kick. Circle in and kick. Now again, if you have balance issues, keep the kick low. Will you stay in the same position? Yes. Okay. Try not to bounce. Circle in. Circle in. Circle in. Circle in. One more on each side. In. And in. Oops. And then pull yes. it back. I like that last one. Those are some good uh, yeah, waist exercises. Good waist exercise. Right exactly. Inhale and exhaling. Okay, so now what's going to happen is, is that we're going to work a little bit of the upper body. And this is a little bit tricky because what's going to happen is, is that as I step forward here, I'm going to shift my weight forward and back, but also my abdomen will shift as well too. <clears throat> All right. So come around. So surf, it's like an oval? Yes, it's like you're lassoing. Lassoing the stars and turning the Big Dipper. Oh, Lori Fry said, Cowboy Chris. Yeehaw, yeehaw. <laughs> yeah. So you, it's a weight transfer back and it's forth. It's a weight transfer back and forth. And I'm relaxing the shoulders. Cool. Relaxing the shoulders. I'm relaxing the shoulders, the hands. And then also I'm turning the navel as well too, going back and forth. Coming around. We're on a live stream, actually. Would you mind to walk me? We're on a live stream video yeah, right, now. right now. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go around the other Thank side. You. Don't bother you. I can tell what you were. I thought it was yoga. <laughs> it's Tai Chi. Come on. Let's go this way. So as I rotate my navel back and forth, I shift my weight back and forth, relaxing the uh, shoulders and the hands. Okay, then I'm going to switch. Coming around. Oh, it's harder on this side. Key here is to relax the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, the fingers. So shifting the weight back and forth. So one thing about live streaming is such an analogy for life, which is the acceptance of all situations, letting go of control. You have no, when we're live streaming outside like this, we have no control over some of the elements. <coughs> Cars, sneezing, barking dogs. So it's a good practice of acceptance which we all need to have. Mm. Accepting the situation for what it is. Not allowing it to, no pun intended for national. Bird migration bird, day. Bird migration day. Don't let your feathers get all in a ruffle. <laughs> so I'm circling, 
Okay, and then what's going to happen here is that I'm going to come bring it back. Pulling down the heavens three times. Inhale. And exhaling. Again. And exhale. Third one. And exhale. Okay, so as we begin to close here, we're going to begin to focus on the lower Dantian, but I'm going to gently rock forward, and then my abdomen comes forward, the Dantian comes right below the belly button, and then as I rock back, the, imagine the Dantian is a white ball of light that then flows back to the kidneys, opposite the belly button. When I rock forward, the ball, the white pearl comes forward. As I go back, imagine this white pearl now going back to the Ming Men in between the right and left kidneys, opposite the belly button. So as I go back, my, I'm on my heels, my hands are forward. As I go forward, I'm on the balls of the feet, stimulating the bubbling well points as I go back. Look at how I'm just relaxing my body. Now I want you to close your eyes and I want you to feel this gentle rocking motion. Feel and imagine this white pearl touching the, right below the belly button, also referred to as the lower dantian. And as I flow back, it goes back to the kidneys. The rock forward, touching the acupuncture point is called chi hai. The acupuncture point on the back, once again, is called the ming men or the gate of fire. So I'm allowing for this ball to just gently circle back and forth. And as we wrap up today's session, once again, just so grateful for all y'all joining us. And, and by you increasing your consciousness by taking these classes, it helps to increase the consciousness and the vibration of the planet. So very grateful to the San Francisco Bay Wildlife Society. allowing us to get everybody together to join in increasing our consciousness. And as we increase our consciousness of, and our mindset, we increase our vitality and our health, our longevity, and increase the quality of life that all of us deserve to have. Having that quality of life is of utmost importance. Good, good health, good vitality, healthy relationships. Okay, so then I'm going to slow down the rocking, going to a very subtle, imagine as though you're standing in a pool of water and that water is resisting, pressing against the skin. What would that feel like? And then I come to the stop. I'm going to place my hands over the lower Dantian, one inch below the belly button. As I inhale, I'm going to imagine that this white mystical pearl fills up with energy from the space around me. As I exhale, I'm going to imagine that this white pearl restores the vitality of the kidneys on the low back. Each time I inhale, this mystical white pearl gets thicker and stronger. And then as I exhale, you feel this white light radiate around the waist to the kidneys on the low back. You're outside connecting with nature, with the sky, the earth, the clouds, the trees, the plants, the birds. As I exhale, filling up into those kidneys. And now as I inhale, gathering the energy from the space around me, this pearl still getting brighter and brighter. As I exhale, you're going to feel this white pearl fill up every tissue from head to toe with white light. As I inhale, I pull nature into my center. And then as I exhale, I allow for nature to fill up every cell, every tissue of my body from head to toe. Doing two more, inhaling, feeling nature fill up into my being. And then as I exhale, releasing into every cell, last breath. 
Feel the connection. And then as I exhale, allow for the white light to fill up into the kidneys and the rest of the body. And then from there, it's going to slowly open up the eyes, shaking out the feet. Oh, I feel relaxed. That All was right. beautiful. How Thank does everybody you. feel? Good? Give yourself a pat on the back. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you want to close out here? Yeah, well, closing out, thank you so much for joining us. And please check out the links in the description for information about the Refuge, San Francisco Bay Wildlife Society, and the Watershed Watchers Program, which is funded by Santa Clara County Valley Urban Runoff Prevention Program. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Remember, next Saturday is World Migratory Bird Day. Mm -hmm. Mother's Day is on Sunday. So give a shout out to all the moms and anyone who has a mom. And we love you. And Yes. And, and also, too, and if you don't have a mom or if you're a man mom, like I was for many years, meaning a single father of, of, of my children, um, shout out to you guys as well, too. So once again, on, on behalf of ourselves, San Francisco Bay Wildlife Society, Parisa, Christine, be blessed. And remember to love yourself and to share that love with somebody else. So as we close out here, it spells out like this. L-O-V-E. -E. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Thank you.